Welcome back, my serious community. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Let's get right into this video. I don't want to talk to anybody about discouragement. That ain't the way that I plan on doing things. However, I do like uplifting and motivating people because it's difficult out there. We all understand that there's a lot of people that know how to drive these trucks. That's besides the point, isn't it? The fact is, is you brand new. You brand new just like I was. You brand new and you don't know what to do. You're unsure of what to do. Maybe this video can help you. Maybe I can give you a list that you might can recommend to your friends that you can like and share this video and other people can see it and see that it isn't that hard to get into trucking. However, it is hard to pick the place to work for that fits you. So let's get right into it. Let's do it like this. This is what we're gonna do. If you have a piece of paper close by and a pencil, just jot this down, okay? The first thing that I want you to think about really that we all need to think about way before we take this step into driving trucks is home time. That is the number one priority to 90% of these truck drivers quitting. It's home time. It's understandable. We all got a life outside of driving trucks. And sometimes we just jump into it thinking about something that don't matter like money versus the experience. And we forget about home time until we get out there. And then we realize this is real far away from home. So home time, when do you want to be home? Do you want to be home weekly? Do you want to be home bi-weekly, tri-weekly? Do you want to be home every day? Either way, it's a company out there for you that will get you home in a timely manner just like that. You just got to search for it, do your research. Secondly, the most important thing that I want to talk about right now, what states do you want to drive in? Where are you from? Where do you not want to go? Where do you feel safe going? Where do you don't feel safe going? Name all those, write those down. It's not gonna change anything. The only thing that is gonna change is the way you communicate to the recruiter or whoever it is you talk to. Lastly, this is the most important thing that I can talk about. Experience or money. Which one are you in for? When you in something like this for money, the money is unstable. You might run a week and don't run as much next the next week. The point is, it's unstable. Experience lasts a lifetime. Can't nobody take that experience away from you. So if anybody out there trying to discourage you and they trying to motivate you and encourage you to do this because this is what they've done, it's an experience, all right? Everybody experience is different, okay? It's not set in stone exactly what's gonna happen to you. Unless you do what you don't wanna do, how else would you know what you wanna do? I was in your position and the first thing I wanted to do was go OTR. You know, I was at home telling my wife, baby, are you gonna be okay? All right, are you gonna be fine? All right, I'ma be gone now. And as soon as I got out there, I was like, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm far away from home. What? It's gonna take me at least two days to get home if I give up. But you shouldn't give up. You know why? Because you have that list. You know where you wanna go. You know how long you wanna be out. You know when you come home. You know all of those things. And that's what I didn't do when I first started. However, as an over the road truck driver, I can bring you this. This is what happened to me. So you're just sitting out there driving, trying to figure out what you want to do. You're listening to podcasts. You're listening to music. You're doing all the things that you can safely do while focusing on the road. But at the same time, stuff does get old. Family life keep going on. People go to work. People get off of work. Folks don't have five, six hours to talk to you on the phone. So you do get kind of lonely. And I know that has a lot to do with the person. That's why I say every situation is different. So don't blame people for wanting to go home, for wanting to be normal, for wanting to take a bath every day, for wanting to go home to see their family, take a bath, go to sleep, wake up, then get back in the truck. You can't knock nobody for that. Most of the things that we choose to do is outside of our comfort zone. Everybody knows that. That's why resistant builds muscles, all right? We all go outside of our comfort zones just to find out that that is a very hard and tough, difficult situation to be in. But we can't change that. All we can do is just go through it, deal with it, and then explain it to somebody that ain't dealt with it yet. Give them clarity. I try to make encouraging videos for people out there, and it's a lot of discouraging people out there. All right, so you got to keep your head up and stay grounded in what you really want to do. Don't let anybody tell you what you need to do, where you need to go, and how you need to do things. Everything is based off an experience. All right, don't let nobody trick you into feeling bad about making a decision or not being able to do things. All right, all I know is when you want to do something, be motivated. It takes you to do that. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, keep coming back by subscribing hitting the notification bell so you can tune in to the next video as soon as I upload it. Like, comment, 
do everything you can to get this information out there so people can see that this is not as hard as it looks in the trucking industry. Stay blessed and stress-free out there and keep your head up. Always be encouraged and never discouraged because you are in control of everything that you plan on doing. Stand your ground and have a backbone. Y'all take it easy. Stay safe out there.